Oh gosh, I think it's live. Yeah? Cool? Cool. Hi everybody, this is Sarah, and I have this little board right here. This is a uh, marshmallow. Uh, they came in the mail this afternoon, um, sometime around 4, and I'm super geeked. I've been uh, waiting for these to come for the past two weeks, and um, this is basically a, a coin cell battery-sized board that is going to uh, be my Christmas present. It's part of a project that I've been working on um, for... Let's see, I guess I can just show you. Um, it's part of building these little guys. So this is a uh, little posable micro noodle that's 3D printed and it has like moving joints, um, a detachable head that is going to house this tiny little board here. And the marshmallow is effectively a miniature micro brain, miniature micro brain, that's redundant. It's a tiny little brain for a small noodle. And there's a beeper on here and two LEDs and it, it beeps and blinks and emotes. And that's pretty much all this guy does. But um, they're cute. They look like marshmallows. And I'm, I'm geeked because this is the first board uh, that I've had done in a, a different colored solder mask. I got white this time, so I was eager to see what that looked like. And um, there's also kind of the, uh, I guess the more silvery colored pads instead of gold. It's weird the things that we get excited about, but um, I've never had a board made in this motif and I was excited to see what they looked like. Um, they kind of remind me of Pokemon badges from like the gym leaders. You get those little like circular totems. I don't know. I'm a nerd. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna hopefully put one of these together and program it and get it doing something tonight. Um, I have all my stuff in. I got my Mauser order in the mail also this week, so I'm about ready to go. Uh, I hurried up and had dinner, a healthy dinner of broccoli and mushrooms, and then laid out all of my parts. And I have my, my bomb and everything here, so I'm uber prepared. Uh, and yeah, I'm at uh, Mark's. Uh, I'll actually point the camera downward towards this bench at this point. Um, that's this. Oh, look at that, it worked. I'm still figuring out how to use these scenes. But, um, oh, there's my little, like, collapsed noodle body. You can stay right here and watch as I do brain surgery on you. This is my test subject, by the way, this guy. Um, I have all my stuff laid out over here. You can't see it, but I'm gonna stick everything on this. And um, once it's done, this is ultimately going to... Um, oops, fit inside of this little tray right here that's 3D printed and it has a magnet in the middle and this kind of snaps on to... Yeah, I'll show you this camera. There we go. Like that. And it centers and you can kind of like turn his head around. And this has little 3mm LEDs that are going to poke up and off of it and I might also 3D print a little dome head cage so that it creates that noodle image looks like noodle. At least has the implied line. Um, and I'm hoping I'm hoping I can pull this off. Like I haven't done tiny soldering. I'm gonna call this tiny soldering because that's what it is to me. Um, in a bit. It's been a minute. Um, where Mark sort of commits himself to uh, doing like SMT soldering every day, like this is kind of a, a few times a year thing for me, not a regular hobby, so uh, maybe this will be humorous and entertaining for some of you, if anyone's watching this. This is still kind of technically a test for me, because I, I don't know what I'm doing still. Um, but I do know the protocol. I need to work from the tiniest and smallest things and work my way upwards to the big, beefy, sticky uppy parts. And for me, that means resistors and capacitors. And I have a couple. So I'm going to refer to my thong and see if I can find R1. Is it 100 ohm resistor bit? Which is. Oops. Yay. <laughs> I 
I'm very barely coherent right now. Um, I actually got home this morning at 8 and then slept most of the afternoon because I had a, uh, there's this thing that me and my friend do starting at uh, midnight until whenever we're done. We have this uh, side project uh, that involves blasting paint at high velocities at, um, I would say maybe like 300 feet of uh, wall space backstage at the Blue Man Theater here in Las Vegas. Um, one of the things we do in our free time is we design paint cannons and they were in the market to have their backstage area kind of where their uh, crew dwell painted in some festive way and um, the whole paint splatter thing is part of their branding and we uh, need walls to test our toys that we build on. Oh god, open the bag. Come on. Let's see if I can actually peel the, the thingy off. So uh, once every couple of weeks we uh, go in starting at midnight after everyone's left and we mask off a segment of the hallway and we bring in whatever we've been developing that week or uh, month as it goes and we, oh god. We blast, we, we blow our paint load at these walls and it's fun but we usually walk out of there like very barely before the sun comes up and then it kind of wipes me out for the rest of the day and I'm just not really a spring chicken anymore where I can bounce back from those all-nighters as such. But um, I'm I'm in that state right now. Like I got up I think at uh, 3.30 or so? No. Yeah. 3.30 this afternoon. It was right before the boards got here. Uh, so this has been my day. It's been the uh, hype of getting the marshmallow boards in. Uh, so this was, oh god, the R1 and R2. I'm gonna do them in order, like a good, good raptor. And the soldering iron needs to be on. Uh, I'm probably going to set up my bench, which is on the opposite side of the workroom behind me, uh, with a camera mount, so this is actually legitimately directly above, like, my work area. And, or at least at a better angle, I don't know, this isn't probably ideal. But, um, for now, just I don't know, this was kind of an impromptu decision to stream uh, setting this up uh, at all. Um, I'm going to do it here, and the benefit of doing it at Mark's bench is he has the, uh, the Metcal soldering iron. Not that mine's bad or anything by any means, but his is, his is fancy. So I gotta find where the resistors are. Two. And put some of the the solder pizza on the pads. Actually, this is another thing I could ask. I've been getting a lot of really good advice from everybody I know out there who is already or has already been streaming for quite a while, and I want to thank you. Oh, anyone who's given me advice in the past couple of weeks, thank you for your wisdom and sharing it with me. Um, it's helped a lot. Um, if anyone has suggestions on a, uh, what is it, macro zoomy camera, uh, specifically for doing soldering like this, uh, let me know. Because um, if I ever do this again, even if it's just two or three times a year, like I mentioned, uh, it would be nice to not have this thing zoom in and out like it's doing. You can kind of see it in my peripheral. I apologize for that. Yeah, whatever. The other thing I don't know um, how I'm going to manage is if anyone actually decides to talk at me in the chat, um, how I'm going to respond to any actual interaction. I don't know how you guys do it. The other thing that's going to be a test of my multitasking abilities is to see if I can actually keep up a conversation with myself while doing the brain surgery. Because as I mentioned, this is not... I don't do this that often. 
solder out of here. <laughs> but this does give me a good excuse to clean off my bin. That's a giant bead. That's hot. He has a, a microscope, like a really nice one. It's like right. Oh, you can't see that. Oh man. Oh man. It's right here. I could use this if I wanted to, but I don't know if it helps me more than just creates another thing that I have to adapt to. That should be good, right? Maybe this looks like a close thing. Or just a really big bean. Eh. Whatever. I don't know if you can see that. If you can't, it's really ugly. But they're on there. Okay. I'm gonna check these off on camera because I'm super happy that I got two things done. Yeah. R1 and R2. Oh man. Alright, what's next? Um, I will do, let's see, R5 is a 10k, let's do that. And have one right here, 10k, it's even labeled, I don't know if you can see that. And that is R5, so let's find R5 and put some juice on a pad. You have to juice the pad before you stick the tiny piece of dust on it. That's what Mark taught me. Remember to juice your pads first, people. Alright, I can do this. So yeah, uh, tonight, or last night rather, was the fifth time that uh, me and my friend Tony have, uh, we call them heist nights, uh, when we go in and blow our load at the wall. Uh, this was our fifth time. Uh, we have to actually make a complete room diaper around the uh, area that we're blasting it so that we don't get paint on anything other than the wall that uh, is being, I don't know, affected. And um, we have to make a kill room, basically. And I think that's what we actually get off on in this whole, I don't know, the doing of the paint. I think the, the process of setting up our, uh, I don't know, our paint diaper is sort of this zen meditation thing that we both enjoy on some level. And then there's the painting, and that's just fun. But um, we've been knocking our time building the actual room diaper down by about a half an hour each time we do it. And uh, this time was our personal best. It took us uh, a total of one hour to uh, completely mask off the floor and ceiling and opposite wall in the hallway that we were firing at. And that's pretty awesome. So now we know how Dexter does it. So fast, that is. I want there to be blobs. There will always be blobs. It's my board. My boards are always blobby. Okay. That was our five. I won't check that off yet. I'll do something else. Uh, our three. One milli M. Milli M's. Is that this? No, that's not this. R3 is, is that this? Uh, I'll find it. Just give me a second. I totally set these aside and now I don't know where they ran off to. So these were the hundreds. Put these back in a way so that I don't get confused later. I need Maybe I can just do you. 
There's no value on that. That's interesting. Huh, that's okay. I can figure it out. I've got this. Maybe. What else can I do? C1. Here we go. Okay, I do. Yeah. So this is my C1. I'll just do that. And then I'll put this someplace so I don't get confused. Uh, like down there with the batteries. So this may or may not be part of the uh, Hackaday's coin cell battery challenge. I'm not like challenging any uh, anything. <laughs> I'm not creating anything fantastic or spectacular or stretching the boundaries of coin cell battery use by any means. But um, I don't know, it's a fun project. Uh, I guess I didn't mention this, but um, in addition to these being uh, Christmas presents, uh, I'm also going to put the the plans for the little baby noodle, the SDLs, up uh, somewhere so that you can download them and print your own parts, and then I'm going to do a little walkthrough on how to assemble one of these guys with the moving joints. Um, I do a little thing with the actual raw filament that I'm, I'm going to call filament rivets, where I use a little piece of filament to uh, kind of act as the joint piece. Don't lose it. Don't breathe. Don't breathe this thing in. Don't do it. Don't do it. And this was C1, right? Yeah. Okay. See, I forgot, like, immediately. How long have I been doing this? I guess it doesn't matter. Thank you for keeping me company if you're watching this. I apologize for being a spaz. But anyhow, um, I was talking about the gig in the hallways of Blue Man with the paint. So, uh, this was our fifth night doing it. Um, we're almost done. Like, not like done done, but the walls that are, uh, needing to be covered with paint are going to be covered with paint. Whether or not they're finished is a different question. But, um, at this point, we can take a little bit of time this winter and work on developing new peripheral peripherals, like paint weapons. And uh, for Christmas, I think I'll actually uh, show this on a stream later on when I have more time dedicated to elaborate on this project. Um, for Christmas, uh, Tony and I each got each other a, uh, I guess, a, what is it, piece of shop equipment to retrofit or repurpose into some sort of paint lobbing equipment. And he got me this like, it's a, it's a Ryobi uh, inflator that uses their lithium battery, rechargeable battery cell um, that's standard with all of their power tools. And it just, it blows and it sucks air. And it looks like a neon yellow gun. So I have to figure out something to do with this. And then I found a, uh, it looks like something out of Splatoon. It's like a, a super soaker that was made to shoot slime. Like they actually make these. It's like it's a made for viscous thick fluid and it it shoots jets of thick fluid. It launches ropes, basically. Um, <laughs> and it was called a, a hyper slimer. So uh, he has that for me and he's he's gonna find find out if it actually takes paint because then that can actually just be a dedicated squirt gun for painting or inking. Um, okay, I got C1. And about five done. Sorry, camera. Um, I'm not at one M one. You say hundred? God, I don't even remember what I did. Is there anything else on here that says a hundred? I think we did those. Mark! I'll get it. I don't know where R3 is. Maybe I didn't set that aside. Bad raptor. That's okay. Um, I'm gonna try and do the chip. So what am I missing? It's just R3? 
Ah. Eh, I'll do it later. Let's try and put this tiny little pizza on the bat, the brain. Hmm. I'm gonna look at that with this. Looking through Mark's microscope. Ah. Can I see anything? I feel really fancy doing this. No, I, th that didn't help at all. Wow. Okay. Uh, let's focus. Where's my dot? Uh, the little nipples on the left, and I think. If I remember anything that I've learned about nipples on, uh, chips... No, I don't. Man! Okay. I'm gonna ask him. I'm gonna do a phone-a-friend, because the last thing I want to do is attempt to get this on, and then succeed, and then find out that I put it on the wrong way. So, I'll be right back. I should, like, cue elevator music. I think he's watching Stranger Things. Yeah, he has like headphones on in the living room because I, I was like, you need to leave. I'm taking over your bench. Oh. Interrupting my Stranger Things season two, episode one. Do Sorry. not spoil it for me. Sorry. Right. Um. Okay. I um. The little nipple is on the left side of this chip. I just want to know when. That right. there is a beveled edge on the chip as well, and that's on the pin one side of the chip. So I think the Do nipple, you see? the nipples on this side, nipple, the little like indent thingy, that thing. Um, there's using an edge. Look on the edge of the chip. There's like a bevel. Like one side of the chip is beveled, and the other isn't. What? Look in the microscope. I did. It looks like a box. <laughs> sure, go for it. Like go, <laughs> go for it. Lean over. And there's a way the words go, but I don't remember. I can't see the word here. Mm -hmm. Just be careful not to Okay, okay so. Mm -hmm. Look in there. You okay. see the top edge of the chip? Yeah. It's fatter. It has a bevel, but the other side of the chip doesn't have. <laughs> the, we're, there's four pins. And there's a fat black line edge. No. <laughs> no. There. What? No. The plastic black plastic of the chip has a beveled edge on one side, and the other side it's just a square. Okay. Sharp edge. Do you see that? No. So there's four pins on the top, and you see right, and there's four pins on the lower. Yeah. On the top edge, do you see that it's a fatter, wider? black edge sure. and the light in there? Are you looking at it? <laughs> There's a nipple. The nipple. No, don't look at the nipple. Look at the edge. I see the With edge. the four pins. Me... The edge that has the four pins on it. And it might be like slightly fatter. Okay, now okay. The, so the, it's the top. Do you see that? Yes. So the edge that has the bevel is the pin one, one, two, three, four side. Okay, is that the dot? And there should be a dot in the upper right in that. There's not, that's why I'm missing. Totally not a dot. There's no dot. There's no dot. The um, there might be a laser etched dot if you tilt the chip in the light. Okay. To, to read the words. If you can read the words, there might be a dot in okay. the upper right corner of that. So just rotate, yeah, just turn the chip a little bit. You see? It gets in focus. Oh, hell. You see words? Oh, God, yes. There's you the words. You see the dot in the upper right? Uh. Is there a dot there? Uh. Wait. Oh, man. 
this is... No, I don't see the dot. But if you turn it like just right, it's like a it's like a hologram. Yes. You can see the words for like a split second. Yeah, it's because like... the laser X so it is it's kind of it's not a hologram. But... Oh, oh. The light indicates it. I, I'm telling myself that there should that. That's is there a... a bar anywhere? No. No. Can I see? Yeah, sure. Why not? All right. Anyways, on the black plastic chips, the there's an edge that has like a bevel. Yeah. A rounded edge or whatever you call it. Yeah. That is the edge that has pins one, two, three, and four. Okay. Oh, always, instead of a dot. So, so the dot, so, the dot on my PCB is, is one, and then the, right. the doubled edge is the one. Right. No, it's sure. Oh, sorry. Right there. Right, it moves it. You move that chip. Okay. The there is a little triangle. Um. Is that pin one? That is the pin one. Okay. The little delta triangle. So the nipple doesn't mean anything. No, that's just where they trimmed off the whatever internal wearing stuff. Why did I remember when they the wrapped it in plastic? Significant. Uh, chips that have a big dent is dent is that, but that's not that. That's just manufacturing flashing. Ah. In the plastic encapsulation process. Okay. You see? Yeah, I see a triangle. That's the pin. Yes. Have fun, everybody. Don't give me that look. Make sure you donate to Sarah's Patreon. <gasps> Sons, we're back to school. Okay. That was fun. I know what I'm. I know. Yeah. So. Now that that's figured out, I'm going to attempt to stick this chip onto the, the pads. And I may or may not be able to do that very well. I know I can. I've done like, okay, so when I did my Kickstarter like a million years ago, we had to hand assemble like 300 boards for our Delta Robot kits, which uh, I don't, if you know nothing about it, it was a thing. We had to make our own boards. So like I did this every day in like a repeat constant like slave sweat shop slave labory type methodical manner for days on end with mark and we had solder parties where we would invite our friends over and make an assembly line and we each take a few components uh put them on a board that had the uh solder paste already squeegeed on it and then pass it down and then mark would cook them on a hot plate uh I guess I can do this one first. Is it the same? It's been so long. I don't know if you can still see that. I'm gonna get a dedicated macro-y camera for this. I apologize that it's zooming in and out. Please don't vomit because of my stream. Right, I'm gonna turn this off for that. Because I'm Oh, that's not even in the right. Yeah. Okay. There. Yeah. Okay. That looks good. I think I I think I did that. Okay. That's on there. It's in the right place and everything, and it's oriented right because I asked. I asked for directions. I'm still kind of outing myself. That I'm not actually professionally. I didn't spec into this. Like I put no, no uh, talent points in electronic engineering. Oh man, I can't even see. That's, that's good. Is that even... Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> I also realized that the microphone is right next to my face and I might have really blown out volume. Maybe not. 
the thing's not, okay, it looks like it's okay. Whatever. This is all a learning experience. I just want to put my finger right in front of the camera. Sorry. It's on. That's what I did. It doesn't look that fantastic, but whatever. So everyone everyone said, like, s'mores. Like, I mentioned on social media that I got my marshmallow boards on, and everyone... I got my marshmallow boards in, and a lot of people immediately f said s'mores, or like referenced s'mores, either in that they wanted to make s'mores, or they were curious if I was going to make s'mores out of the marshmallows that I received. Um, I think it's safe to say that after I'm done scorching the crap out of this with uh, with this soldering iron, that uh, it, it will be a toasted marshmallow. I am toasting it right now. It's a noodle brain. So to Noodle, this is this is the a hundred uh, brains of his uh, army, his minions. Oh, I totally didn't show this. Wait, wait, wait. I got a hundred of these. That's a hundred marshmallows. And I got them made at seed, because I was getting a hundred of them made. And I think Mark used them as a, a fab fab location service for the first time and he kind of recommended that I try it so this seemed like the appropriate opportunity to do so because I needed these kind of fast. Like I ordered these on December 1st and they were meant to be Christmas presents for uh, friends, families, and uh, patrons potentially. No way, is my battery seriously that low already? Wow. Streaming sucks the battery out of my laptop. Oh, and I also thought this was cute. My uh, envelope says, uh... Here, oh my god. Fuck. Poo. This is poo. Um, Alright. Moving on. Okay. Oh. Where are the LEDs? Oh, I had another question for him. And I let him escape before he answered it. Um, where did I put those big... I'm gonna ask him another question. Um, I actually don't know which way, uh... This is a beeper. This is like a really teeny tiny, uh... piezo beeper. That, uh... Makes this really adorable, like, muted, kind of, like, burpy, belchy, buzzy beep sound. It's they're really small, or relatively small for piezo buzzers, and um, each of Noodle's uh, fancy feet that I made for him this year, uh, the feet brains, the new croissant feet brains, have this piezo beeper on them so that they can they can emote audibly. But I don't know which way they go, and there's a dot on this one, so um, I know that. It does need to go some way, but there's no real indication on the board what corresponds to the dot. Hmm. You know, I say this, but I have my um, desktop view. I have this like right in front of me, and I could just reference that. Oh, no. What is that? I don't know. I still don't know what that is. No. No. That. Okay, that's ground. Uh. So is the dot, I'm guessing, is the not ground? Yeah? That sounds like a fair bet. I'm gonna run and ask him like that, really quick. Elevator music. Yeah. No? I'll be right back. Mark! 
Okay. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. I know that, but I I don't trust myself. So yes. Uh so again. Uh uh Eagle. Gurgle. So that's good. That's not good. Okay. He insists that Whatever, I'm gonna screw it up. So the next time I do this, because I have a whole bunch more of these to assemble as gifts, um, it will not take me nearly as long. Okay. I think I have to put juice on both pads. You have to juice both of the pads. I hope. I mean, I don't know. I usually talk out of my ass. So, the second version of this, like when I make a Rev 2 of the marshmallow, the uh, baby noodle brain, uh, I want to add the feature, and I've been wanting to do this for noodle in general, but um, I think implementing this feature on the micro noodle as its primary function would be really quaint, but I want to have it so that uh, there's a microphone and it can recognize tones, like, I don't know specifically like the the sine wavy type tones that your microwave or your oven or your like home alarm like make uh, the beeping and i want to have the board recognize the beeping and then repeat the same beeping back kind of like a parrot does like a robot parrot but just with tones so that um if you do build one of these baby noodles it will sit on your desk and call back to all the other appliances that are in your office and or workroom. So as soon as I'm done building these baby noodle marshmallow boards for Christmas, I'm probably going to go and make Rev2 that is equipped with whatever I need to have on this board to facilitate in the uh, microphone hearing and piezo buzzer beeping bepping. Uh, so that's that's gonna happen. Okay, so that's on. Um, I still didn't put R3 on because again I didn't ask Mark. Mm. Right. I did I set one aside? Did I lose it already? Did I breathe it in on accident? I probably breathed in too deep and it just got lodged in my lung. And I don't know it. Eh, I can sneak that in there. Actually no I can't, because that's like this, like if you can see it. There you go. That those two pads right there for R3 are right in between my two eyeball LEDs, those big dots. So it would behoove me if I was uh, smart and patient to put that sucker in there before I add his little eyeballs. And these are the eyeballs. They're so tiny and cute. They're like candies. Okay. 
Um, is that this? No. Man, I'm like afraid I could like not do that. No, oh, I'll ask. I'll be right back again. Do 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 do. Do I have one more? I have one more. Is it three? It's the the main. 